have his peace. That doesn't mean we have to love the circumstance. That doesn't even mean that it doesn't hurt. But it does mean that we can have this special kind of peace. The peace that the world offers is a peace that only works when circumstances suit us. But Jesus has given us something that's far superior to that. He's giving us a peace that really, the best way I know how to say it is a peace that just doesn't make any sense. It's an unreasonable peace. But you honestly can have peace in the most difficult circumstance if you really have a depth of relationship with God. God of peace, our G Jesus is the Prince of peace and the King of peace, and everything he does is peace. God never uses fear. He always uses peace in our lives. Peace is a profoundly important thing in the life of a believer, but Satan wants to keep you from it, especially in the days that we're living in now. If you have it, he wants to take it from you. If you don't have it, he wants to keep it from you. God will never use anxiety to guide you. And so every single time that God is guiding you, he will guide you by peace. Everything can look right, but you don't have a peace about it. There have been so many times that if you use reason, it, everything looks right, but there's a profound lack of peace. The presence of peace is profound. The lack of peace is profound. And when God is saying no, he just won't give you peace about it. Is you just, I just don't have a peace. God, when God is saying no, he just won't give you peace about it. Is you just, I just don't have a peace. But when God is, when you feel a peace, especially when both of you are feeling a peace, that means that God is saying yes. When the devil takes your peace, he's knocked out a critical navigational instrument from your life. But something about just being before him, oftentimes there's just power in presence. If we'll run to his presence in the midst of whatever trouble comes our way. If our first thought might not be, man, how can I solve this? How do I fix this? Who do I call to help me with this? But if our initial thought is, God, help me with this. I trust you, God, show up in this. Isaiah 26, 3 says it this way. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. And I'm loving everything about that perfect peace. When our minds are steadfast, when stuff comes our way, if he is our, our first call, if we're going to phone a friend, man, I'm going to turn to him. I'm gonna... When John 14, 27 says, peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. See, if your expectation is that we might have peace on earth, man, don't hold your breath. Because it's not going to come until the Prince of Peace himself returns and makes all things new. But if your expectation or desire is that you might experience peace on earth in the midst of trouble, that you would walk with it, live with it, that there would be a peace in your heart regardless of what's going on around you. That is very much a possibility, a gift that is available for you today. This is the struggle of our lives. Worry, anxiety. There's always an underlying sense of dread about the future or worry about the future that, that robs us of today. Is, is it possible? John, what do you worry about? Chances are it's not a bad thing. It may be our families, the well-being of our kids, how we're gonna get our bills paid in the future, maybe something going on at work. Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? In other words, can any one of you, by obsessing over what you have no control over, influence what you have no control over? No, you can't, that is a recipe for stress. When I try to take control of something that I don't actually have responsibility for, then that is a recipe for stress in our lives. He says, therefore, in light of all of that that we've talked about, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. In other words, today needs my best. What 